Carlos. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? Nice yeah. to finally meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey. How yeah. you doing? Yeah, good to see I'm you. Live yeah, I was wondering if you would be here. Okay. Yeah. yeah oh, so live streaming now? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll Everybody. interview. I'll interview you later. <laughs> but yeah, this is Carlo, Carlos, Carlos, who's yeah. been doing this series for quite a while. Today, so, uh, I don't know if I deserve that adjective. Yeah. Well, but um, well, well, I'm well. actually uh, Pinocchio for a little bit. Do you know though? Um, I was going to speak. Do you know if? Uh, you, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. You asking a couple questions right now? Do you know if we need to sign in? I, All right. I don't know. Yeah, you could ask a couple questions. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, we finally meet for the first time. Yeah, You've done yeah. quite a lot of videos for us, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, tell us what are, what are you here for? What are you going to say? Um, I have uh, a couple tricks up my sleeve. Um, not just being Pinocchio today. That was an unexpected addition to the repertoire. Um, I guess today I'm going to pretty much call them out on that they're playing a role in the sixth mass extinction event that's facing this planet. Um, I'm a big picture thinker and I think this is a small part in a much bigger picture, but it's an important part to point out. Um, I will be distributing, I don't know if they'll accept them, I have six of clubs to all the people who vote yes for the pipeline hopefully it's less than half and then the pipeline isn't approved but the assumption presumption is based on the way they voted on the south jersey gas pipeline that they will have a majority again vote to approve this pipeline so that being the case um for them whoever votes yes to it uh i want them to know they're in the sixth mass extinction club that they're helping to accelerate the uh death of life on earth and you know, I, I think if we think of it in such epic terms instead of just one little pipeline battle as people typically do, but we actually heighten the uh, awareness of what's really going on, that life is leaving Earth um, at a rapid pace. I think that's what we need to do. So my speech is around that. I'm not going to um, give too many details on the speech. I can't remember it. I have it written down. But, um, yeah, so just share my mind. Yeah. But, uh, just briefly, what is the six extinction thing oh six mass extinction is um i guess scientists have known about it for a little while i feel like it's popularized in july there are a few articles in some more major publications but essentially it's uh there's been five mass extinction events in earth's history uh the last being the dinosaurs and now we're in the holocene or six mass extinction which is actually um human caused and it's such a high rate of loss of species that are going extinct that it's an extinction event and it's not just any extinction event because there's smaller ones it's actually considered a mass extinction if the rates continue which there's no reason they wouldn't because there's no sign that humans are going to slow down industrial civilization we will lose uh i've heard numbers up to 75 percent of all species uh, most of the animal kingdom, I think all of the mammals will be dead. We can't, our, the way our systems work, we can't deal with the toxins that will continue to be released. Um, and, the, and the pipeline is a, is a symbol of this because? Oh, well, especially it's a fracking pipeline, which is puncturing the earth, releasing especially terrible natural gas. Natural gas in general uh, is not healthful. Uh, it, it, of course, burns cleaner than coal, but there's... Um, unexpected consequences when we live our lives these ways and depend on fossil fuels so we ourselves are going to become the fossils you know that's that's my uh fear and why, why i'm out here i'm trying to be proactive and one of my one of the sayings i dislike the most so i flip it is crisis creates change i think we need to be the change before the crisis because you can't learn from a mistake that kills you Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Look forward to talking with you without a camera, but but thanks for all you've been doing for us. And uh, <laughs> Good day, all right, see you. Yeah. Consider sharing. Oh. Consider sharing. Oh, on, uh, yeah. yeah, please. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, let me. So yeah. So. Oh, you wanna? No, no. I'll do. Okay. So this this is Carlos Carlos, and he's been. Uh, doing a, a good amount of videos for us with your walk on the pipeline route um, uh, basically uh, towards a life off of fossil fuels I mean that's your goal right so yeah so what did you want to say um, Carlos Basic is your name yeah yeah and actually along those lines uh, just uh, for people who were curious about what I'm up to and what I'm thinking about next uh, October 1st the uh, South Jersey gas pipeline is has been approved by the same group um, and but is yet to be built so 
uh, along the same lines of walking the uh, SRL pipeline. I'm actually going to do a 22 mile run um, on October 1st of the South Jersey gas pipeline. So um, it works out. I'm training for a marathon anyways, the New York City Marathon, which is also for several causes related to getting us off fossil fuels. It's actually called run over cars. If you go on Twitter, it's hashtag run over cars will lead you to my Twitter page, which I just started. I need some followers. I think I only have four or five, but um, yeah. It's, it's going to be for the South Jersey gas, the one in Cape May County and Cumberland County. Yeah. So, um, so no, it'll be a new pipeline and I have thoughts of doing the pennies pipeline as well. Um, you know, and training along that pipeline as well, uh, for a cause, which is against it. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. You know, we have five major pipelines uh, coming into New Jersey, and uh, if these ones pass, there's just going to be more to come. You know, it's going to set a precedent that environmental protection doesn't matter, that the commercial colonization of the United States is a uh, up and coming and ongoing thing. Um, if the people don't defend the land, the land can't really defend itself. We know that from history. So the corporations that are only short sighted thinkers of money, they're going to run a uh, rough shot over it and take every opportunity they can. And uh, so with votes like this, it's disheartening, but um, the pipeline hasn't been built yet. And I'm sure there's quite a few environmentalists out here that, um, you know, are tr going to try and uh, use leverage every possible action we can to stop these pipelines because it's worth it. This is the future. This is our children's future and our children's children's future. Um, I did. The reason I jumped on here, though, um, and thank you, Jeff, for giving me a chance to talk about my own uh, mission overall and in, in the coming months, but um, is that during the break, uh, the head commissioner said that a few commissioners will be stepping out. So they will not be here to hear the public comments. Um, there are 35 of us at least. That's when I signed up. I was number 33 and I saw two more sign right after me. Um, signed up, uh, possibly some of them in favor of the pipeline, but generally, um, as if it's if last time July 26th is any indication, it'd be mostly against the pipeline. So the commissioners, they they yeah, they got what they want. They don't have the uh, decency to stick around and actually listen to the people because it's never about listening to the people. It was about following uh, orders from either political forces or corporate uh, monetary forces or probably some combination of the two um, and personal interest as uh, I think as Gary Quinn, there was a recent opi opinion article about him that uh, pointed out his conflict of interest uh, because he's a developer and he uh, should not be allowed to vote on things that um, show and bring out the conflict of interest he has. So uh, anyways, so a few of them are escaping, so we won't have the full uh, number here. Some of them were on the phone, so they're not here either, but... If they, even if they were here, do you really think that they would be really hearing you? No, no, absolutely not. And you're right to point that out, but I'd at least like the opportunity to look at them in the face and tell them what I have to say, which uh, is not, um, I think it's very honest what I have to say, but, um, and uh, other people have similar things that these people need to go through. They, they. Uh, to be able to just escape uh, and uh, play the game that way, um, it shows a cowardice on their part. So, anyways, all right, I've talked enough. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, sure, so, sure. So after you do this, um, the, the SRL walk or the walk of the other pipeline, like what are your more long-term, what are you going to be doing? Well, I, as Jeff said earlier, Carlos Carlos, um, I am back to using a car, unfortunately. Uh, cars are still around. They're still uh, a central issue in this fight. I think they're an even bigger issue than fracked gas. I think cars are normalized. They're this huge issue. So I'm thinking of ways that I could keep going. Um, I've been funding myself, and I'm running low on fuel in that regard, but I have a lot of heart to keep going on this. I'm going to try and find creative ways to do new campaigns, um, maybe walk 
other states that are going through the same thing. It's not New Jersey. We're not alone. I've, I know people, and um, definitely even in the eastern area, we have New York, upstate New York has a lot of pipelines possible. Um, Pennsylvania's already been ravaged with uh, uh, wells, and out in Colorado and areas like that, um, they're carving up the land like crazy, and they're just putting all kinds of fracked wells in and pipelines to export that to wherever they uh, think they'll make the most profit. So the land uh, is dying, and it's going to continue to be dying, um, and I can see no greater place to put my efforts. How I'm going to do that, uh, I'm just a single person with limited means, but I'm going to see what I can come up, you know, come up with. Um, certainly allying with other groups and helping out with their initiatives uh, and forming an alliance of a lot of people concerned about the bigger picture because I don't think humans should go quietly into the night and just die off this planet taking many many other species with us I think we have to fight um, with whatever energy we have so um, yeah so that's that's kind of to keep it vague i'm not sure exactly how to play out jeff but i'm definitely going to keep doing this it's uh it's become much more than just uh walking it's it's about a lot of things for me all right well we're really grateful that you've we've been working together for a month now yeah. and this is the first time we've actually met each other in person um and i hope you might consider still doing it broadcasting with us yeah. um and in fact we're going to start our own fundraiser so Maybe we could help each other yeah, get absolutely. get some uh, you know yeah, get some funds so we can really keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and I'm curious what what means you're going to use. Like I've I've heard of Patreon and GoFundMe, and um, I haven't entertained any of those seriously. But you know there are ways that people who can't get out there and be an activist in that way still would like to fund activism that they see as productive in stopping. Um, whether it be pipelines or other environmental catastrophes or social justice issues. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to hear that you're going to start a funding thing. Does that mean Citizens Media, for you, Jeff, we haven't had this discussion, but is it a part-time thing? Is it going to, do you want it to become a full-time? I want, I want it to be, I want it to be full-time and I'm going to, I'm going to start a Patreon. Okay. Page, because Patreon, you know, is ongoing. Yeah. I'll probably also do a GoFundMe or whatever for people who just want to give something and then go away, which is okay. fine. Like a Patreon is you commit like a dollar a month or okay. twenty dollars a month, and and you say if you give twenty dollars a month, uh, like for me, I might say if you give twenty dollars a month or twenty five dollars a month, I'll interview you or your yeah. kids or who, someone that's important to you or something okay. issue that is important to you. Like I'll cover that, you know, if you commit yeah. to you know. So uh, well, yeah, shout well, out to Patreon for helping people like us. You know, yeah, I haven't I haven't done it yet, but I have I have I, I have ideas yeah. of like. Yeah, I'll talk to you about that okay. more specifically. Yeah, yeah some of my uh, favorite bloggers use Patreon uh, and podcasters. So. Jimmy Dore is uh, someone I watch a lot, okay. and he makes about $12,000 a month from Patreon. Wow. Okay. I'm not even looking for that much. Yeah, no, no. We're not going to get anywhere near that, but yeah. but uh, that he's a success story on Patreon. Yeah, I was thinking $12,000 a third, like, so if I could make about 30000 a year, because uh, um, New Jersey's not cheap, unfortunately. <laughs> I do have thoughts of going elsewhere in the country, and then I could be, depend even less on income. But um, well, I, actually, we have the time. I'll just briefly tell you, like sure. some of my thoughts are, yeah, sure. are uh, a lot of the people that I've encountered um, throughout everything that I've done, some of whom are relatively well known. I'm going to ask them over time, like maybe once a couple weeks or once a month or something, to maybe do like a two-minute video of praising Citizens Media TV if they feel it's worthy. And so I would put that video as, as an update to the fundraiser to, you know, just to keep it going, to keep the interest going, um, to encourage people to give. So that that's one specific idea. And I just learned yesterday of, um, uh, of uh, another, another blogger related to Jimmy Dore that I follow as well who is um, – Oh, why does the name skip my mind right now? Um, I have too many names in my head. Yeah, yeah, I, know, I know that feeling. <laughs> Graham Elwood. Oh, gosh, sorry. Uh, Graham Elwood is another another video blogger that I follow, and he, he gave me the idea of – he interviewed uh, – yeah, thanks. Actually, you can just turn around. Okay. I know about that now. Yeah. yeah, I talked to you pretty much, right? Yeah, you talked to me too. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so Graham Elwood is another one that we're, we, I've been supporting and watching, and he interviewed one of his supporters because that supporter support, gives him whatever, $20, $25 a month on Patreon. And so he interviewed him, which I thought was a wonderful idea. Like how, what rewards can you come up with to give a people incentive? And so that's, that's one way of going about it is you, you can interview them, you can interview the, their kids, you can get their idea for an issue that's important to them or, you know, to give them input into what you do. Um, and then finally, the other thing is that the issues that I'm really interested in are not as popular. They're not viewed, they're viewed by important people, or people that are relevant to the issue, but not by a lot of people. But unfortunately, that's what I find most interesting. So um, I'm starting to look around for issues that are more popular, that are more popularly accessible. Um, I'm interviewing a family of a child who's really going through quite a lot this weekend. Um, and I, I think that that's going to be something more appealing to the general population kind of thing. And I think that that kind of stuff is going to pay the bills, which I don't think that that necessarily that concept necessarily applies to you as much as an activist. Um, but so that's just what well, I've been thinking. There is a whole lot I'm interested on as an activist. Um, oh, thank you. Um, and there's ways of. Yeah, yeah. That's the, Okay. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, we, you and Katie were mentioned earlier. So, uh, and what a travesty it is to have to deal with that gas compressor. Um, what was I saying? God, uh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. It it seems to me like if I can put it in these terms, it's almost like you're um, thinking ecosystemically, like create an ecosystem of support and ways to include them. So there's uh, it's going both ways. Like that's creative to include. Um, we're get we're probably getting started here in a minute, but um, uh, a way of like a self um, a mutual mutually assisting community of donors that also get to have their um, issues highlighted by citizens media so I think it, it's a really it's sort of like creating a strong network a web um, which will uh, yeah you you it's like a good compromise to include issues that you're not as concerned about but that have more general popularity and then also mix in the issues that you really care about Jeff so I think that's the right approach I think you've got a good handle I'm excited to watch it develop because I know this is in the idea stage and so much of things for me are always in the idea stage so to see them the seed planted and start to grow um, especially I've been involved with citizens media for a month you said now so to watch it get bigger and um, be able to help on that path I would love that. You know, that's important to me. I think it's important to all of us to see positive things, growing things in this world, and people uh, kind of doing what they dream of, not just uh, being part of the rat race, but doing something you're actually passionate about. So that's what's been important for me, is uh, divesting from the rat race and doing things that I think are for the human race um, and and all life on Earth. So. Um, if if we can figure out ways to do that great and it sounds like we have some definite possibilities so yeah so here i'm going to give it back to you and thank you yeah and thank you and actually the uh, the middle of the night stuff is awesome oh. because <laughs> I, that's such a that's filling in such a uh, filling in such a blank yeah so all right thanks carlos so dark. right thanks